A University of Arkansas student is flying back to her home state to vote after she says her mailed request for an absentee ballot was returned and the deadline missed. Live News reporter Bailey Devane spoke to the student and the U.S. Postal Service to find out what happened. Brielle Gibbs is from Houston, Texas. She attends the University of Arkansas, and this is her first year to vote in a presidential election. Really looking forward to voting in this election and just like being an active participant. Instead of flying all the way home in the middle of a pandemic to vote in her precinct, she says she printed off an application to receive an absentee ballot. She says she dropped it in the mail on October 16th. It was postmarked October 20th and on October 27th after the deadline had passed. Her apartment complex let her know she had mail at the front office. I went down to the office to get it because they said that my absentee ballot was there. So I was like, oh, okay, time to vote. They handed me back the request that I had sent almost two weeks ago, and it was postmarked for October 20th. Here's a photo of the envelope Gibbs sent in. Was obviously really upset because, like, there's no way it was obvious. Like, the deadline had already passed. I couldn't get it in. I had the request in my hand, not a ballot. So I was just really upset about it. We checked with the post office supervisor on Dixon Street to find out why it was returned. She says the stamp and address were correct, but she pointed out the letter has a piece of tape on the top, which could mean mail tampering, which could result in the letter being sent back. But she says she's not sure if this is the reason and an inquiry investigation is underway. We spent the better part of yesterday afternoon on the phone with various government offices. We were suggesting everything from having her voter uh, registration changed, but they said no, she had missed the deadline for that. So she still wouldn't be able to vote um, if she stayed in Arkansas. So Gibbs' parents are flying her home to cast her ballot. She'll be in Texas for one day, and then she'll head back to Arkansas. was really excited about voting, especially in a presidential election for the first time, and I just don't really want to wait to vote again in four years. In Fayetteville, covering News Where You Live, Bailey Devane, 5 News. Now, according to the United States Postal Service, there are no guidelines on how quickly they're required to send back a ballot request if there's an issue.